Don't also forget that tonight at uh, 9, midnight, and 3 a.m., it is the Nine Lives of Vince McMahon on Vice TV. I'm on the show. Dave's on the show. Others are on the show as well. And uh, I hope, I hope that he's had his nine and not eight because he seems to think he's only had eight. Because what a coincidence. You know, this thing, this uh, Vice documentary was scheduled to air uh, several weeks ago. And it just happened to be scheduled for a night where AEW had been moved to Tuesday. So we had AEW and NXT on a Tuesday night. And this Vice show was going to run head to head. And I was like, man, no one's going to watch this show. So they pulled it from that date, and they booked it here for this date. And I don't know if they knew that there was going to be a Wall Street Journal article coming out today, or if it was just an amazing coincidence that the day that this thing was scheduled to air, we got a new Wall Street Journal article. But uh, what incredible timing. Tuesday, Wall Street Journal published an article revealing McMahon's attorney received a demand letter from Rita Chatterton's lawyer on November 3rd asking for $11.75 million in damages. Chatterton, who was the first female referee in WWE history, publicly accused McMahon of raping her in the back of a limo November uh, in New York in 1986. Also in November, McMahon's attorney received an email from a lawyer from a former spa manager who says that McMahon assaulted her at a California result in 2011. The incident had not been reported in the media until now. Letter from Char- uh, Chatterton's lawyer states, Chatterton, quote, has suffered years of ongoing depression, substance abuse, disordered eating, lost income, and overall a decreased quality of life following McMahon's alleged rape. And uh, there's more here. And uh, talks about the spa manager, told her husband about the incident. Uh, Her husband drove to a WWE event with a baseball bat, tried to confront Mr. McMahon, but was turned away. I don't want to make light of this, but what? Like he showed up at the door with a bat and asked to see Vince, and they turned him away? That's what this sounds like here. Uh, The woman's lawyer has been in touch with Mr. McMahon's attorney since at least July. McMahon has told people he refuses to pay settlements to Chatterton or the spa manager. So, uh, and there's more here about the the past. And then we have this, which everyone's uh, talking about today. Despite his retirement, McMahon remains WWE's majority shareholder. In the Wall Street Journal story that was published today, it is noted that McMahon has told people that he, quote, intends to make a comeback to WWE. McMahon feels that he received, quote, bad advice from people close to him and thinks the allegations would have blown over if he didn't step down. Well, these two new allegations suggest that wouldn't happen, but that's what he thinks. And then it goes on and on. Now, obviously, there's a lot of fans on social media today that are freaking out about this. And uh, there are certainly people within WWE that certainly were not expecting nor were happy to hear uh, this this uh, article from the Wall Street Journal. And uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you anything because I don't know what is going to or could happen. But I will say this. I don't think it's going to be as easy as Vince going, you know, I'm ready to come back now. I'll be in the office on Monday. The official word, if you guys remember was, uh, I don't even have the tweet in front of me, but Vince Vince tweeted something like, you know, I'm old and I think it's time to go or something like that. And then, you know, officially they talked about how he had stepped down or whatever. But I seem to recall that, uh, that the reason that he voluntarily stepped down was that if he hadn't voluntarily stepped down, it was going to be done in a different manner. And so the idea that, you know, he could just come back I'm not saying he's never going to be back. I'm not saying it's not possible, but he can have all of the intentions that he wants. And uh, there's a lot that would have to happen for him to just come back. So we shall see what happens. Yeah, because uh, you remember how this whole thing started with the Wall Street Journal. It was something that was sent by 
you know, it's something he sent to a board of director. And, you know, there we have this whole thing about the independent investigation that was going to look at the entirety of the company and see what the culture was and see all that sort of stuff, you know, and we haven't heard anything about any of that stuff, any changes that are going to be made, anything like that. So you would figure if uh, either they've quietly done what they've needed to do and everything's over with now and we're not going to hear about any changes or they made changes quietly, whatever it is, you go ahead and you upset the apple cart by bringing Vince McMahon back in if he tries to force himself back in. And again, I don't know how this works as far as him being the, the majority stockholder and how he can leverage that to try to take over the company again and what that would set off as far as the you know securities and exchange commission and other stockholders and all that sort of stuff but what i do know is that i who knows if this what i know is there are now what six seven uh allegations against vince mcmahon four that have been settled that we know of from 06 08 2018 and then this one in 2022 the reader chatterton story has been out there for a long time there is the zanzibar story in florida that ended up not going anywhere in 2006 a groping story and a story where a somebody that works at the spa says did he sent pictures and as we found out later on that is part of his M.O. in other NDAs that have apparently been signed. That's something he is doing. So now we have another situation with a spa in California where all of this happened. I mean, he can talk about trying to get himself back in all he wants. He can. He may be right. He may be absolutely right because you saw what the stock price did. Maybe people wouldn't have taken it seriously. Maybe it would have blown over. But at this point in the game, you're going to go ahead and bring back Vince McMahon. The thought of him coming back after all of this stuff, when there's still stuff that could very well be out there, is just insanity. Well, I think people need to remember as well that he didn't just step down to do allegations. He stepped down because he had used essentially company money to, to pay off six million. women. So, so listen. Here, you know, somebody asked me this question a few months ago, and it was a great question. This was after Vince had been gone for a while. And they were like, uh, what is worse with Vince gone? Like, you know, before Vince stepped down, the, the fear was a WWE without Vince McMahon, the stock's going to crater, you know, the thing's just going to... Well, what happened when he left was it didn't crater. And in fact, if you look at every single solitary aspect of business... You know, how much money they're making and their house show business and the ratings and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I realize they had a bad quarter a little while ago. But in general, what is worse now than when he was around? If this were a situation where he left and things really did crater and then he wanted to come back. Yeah, I can see them going, well, you know, hmm, yeah, this is a publicly traded company. We have a, a requirement to our stockholders, etc. But, I mean... None of that happened. You know, in a lot of ways, virtually everything is better now with him gone. So it's going to be pretty tough to go, hey, you know, he wants to come back. Got more allegations against him. Use company money. But hey, he wants to come back. Let's do it. Granny, let's do the wrestling report. What do you got today? Put your laughing gear on. <laughs> My laughing gear. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, wrestle uh, load? <laughs> And Brian Hawks. I, I don't. That's what Vinny got paid after his show. I don't. I don't know what wrestle load is. <laughs> oh wait a minute! It's Wrestle Cade. Oh, oh well, that good. makes more sense. Where'd Brian go? <laughs> he's recuperating. He's he's broken. You broke him, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. I have right. never. I have. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo, and more, plus hundreds of archived shows all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.